Welcome Leo Moons. Thank you so much for being here. This reading is for all of those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Leo. I am Divine Fem Carrot 144. Happy to bring you this reading. The tarot deck that I will be using for this reading is the Melanated Classic Tarot Deck by Julia Julesby and Ubria Transhaw. I'm going to be using six cards for the spread. Three across the top and three across the bottom. I wish you all well, and I hope that everyone is feeling well, feeling blessed, happy, joyful, abundant, successful, strong, and absolute. You're going to hear some music in the background. This is just my little playlist. I shouldn't say little. My special playlist of some of my favorite songs we got it blinged out for you leo bones here this is what i was channeling for you all i think it turned out quite pretty so this is just really really good vibes Thank you, Spirit. Do a couple more here and we'll get started. I'm going to split the deck here. Okay, so the first card. Um, let me see where I'm going to put. We'll set my cards right here. All right, so the first card. Yay! And this exactly explains like the good vibe and like this whole setting and scene is just perfect. This is a great card, the Ten of Cups for your first card. So congratulations. Ten of Cups is ultimate fulfillment. Success in family. Career. Just feeling all around completeness with the 10 there. So there's been some, some endings and now we have some very promising new beginnings and everybody's happy and united and coming together. This is a card full of love, a very, very great lucky energy. And I feel like It's like it's like about due almost like it's like finally here. And so everybody's celebrating and yeah, this is a really, really great card for the first card. Cups is about emotion, feelings. And deals with the water sign of Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So that may be significant in your natal chart or with someone that you are connected to. I'm seeing the home. I feel like some of you, this may be dealing with a farm of some sorts. And then for some of you... I feel like this may not necessarily be a home, but some of you, there's some people who, where this is church related. Like, I feel like maybe there's a family that has found a church home, like a, a reverend or a priest has found a church for them to be able to deliver their word and that the waters to get there were kind of mighty, but the path to get to this church and this home, it's much, much more happier. Very good card. Rainbows speak a promise. Some of you may have been seeing rainbows or have seen a rainbow lately. 
And that, again, just, it speaks of a new horizon, a new promise. I feel like also just being pretty lucky and overall happy. Very good. And then we'll be able to tell more from this first card once we get through to the remaining card. So let's see the second card here. The Ace of Pentacles. So this definitely being the second card following the Ten of Cups is speaking of a new beginning, a new offer. Something being handed from the Divine. And this could be where you are beginning to see this now physically. There have been many mountains that you have had to climb. And you may be currently on one particular mountain that just seems really, really high. And so I think this is a message saying to you that there should be no doubt. The promise is here. This is evidence of it. I feel like the offer that is coming towards you is full of good nurturing, wholesomeness, love. It's a very, very good gift. And so the more I'm looking at this, the more I'm seeing too, this might be some of your ancestors that are handing down gifts from past lineages that are going to help you with yourself and with this Ten of Cups here. And this is this is being shown to you just with the energy I'm getting with this card. This is beginning to be shown to you. Getting very earthy energy. This is the is a earth card. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And so definitely, I feel, and yes, this, oh, this is so pretty. So the way that these cards came out, like, this is exactly what I just said. Like, it's like, like, I feel like these cups are all like ancestors and those who have been on your spirit team who are there to help you and have been guiding you and giving you so much because you've opened yourself up to it. And now there's like all these great things that are coming down into the physical, but this is connected to the hand. And so I feel like it's like, do, 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 boop. Like a big old wallop of like something big that is beginning to present itself in your life which is very, very awesome. This could have to do with communication as well. Some kind of communication that may come in, a certain message. And the message could be from someone who has very strong earth energy in their chart. So that's awesome. Let's see what the third card is yep so definitely i feel like this knight of cups one of those cups is this cup and i feel like it's like underneath this 10 is what i'm getting one of these cups is underneath that 10 where there's like definite change that's happening in your life you are in a position right now with solidarity, with the ace energy here. And I feel like because of what we had spoke on with the, the work that you have done where you just have felt like you have had so many mountains to climb and you just continue to keep climbing, this Knight of Cups is making his way towards you. Or this could be you giving, you know, one of your cups or handing over your cup to someone and, and making an offer. But I, the overall energy that I'm getting here is that this is someone outside of you 
just because I feel like there's a lot of giving because we're starting with this blessed, this really, really blessed abundance here with the Ten of Cups. And there's two, I'm just noticing the hands. There's a lot of giving, like a lot of giving that's being done that's like well-deserved. I feel like this Knight of Cups may have been, and so I'm almost getting like Knight of, Knight of Pentacles energy. Just looking at the horse, like the Knight of Cups has been on a long journey as well. Knight of Cups is a water sign as well. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and also deals with emotion. And so... See, these are... They're not necessarily flowers, but those look like roses to me. So roses may be significant. Roses are a very passionate flower, speaking of desire and love, romance. So there's a very loving energy here that is coming towards you. I feel like, um, too, that this is almost like... telling the story like this is actually the beginning of the story but this is like the overall I feel like this is the actual overall even though this is the first card and not the sixth card only because of the water I feel like this knight of cups has had some kind of issue with how he was going to get him and his horse over that water after a very very long travel but they finally get over this water. And this is where the happiness and the fulfillment come in with the Ten of Cups there. All right, so that's all I'm getting from that for now. I Yeah, I would say to... Just noticing the, before I move on, noticing the different hue of blue. This is definitely a lighter energy, so almost an ancestral energy. And this is definitely something more physical, only because of the darker hue of the blue. And I feel like this particular energy or person has something very, very strong to say. And the waters run very deep because of the color as well. So they may have a very, very intense feeling towards you. And they may also have very, very strong placement in uh, water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. So the fourth card, this just is just real saucy. <laughs> I'm totally feeling this, Leo Moons. This is pretty freaking fantastic. So we have the magician card and pretty much you're just making magic happen you have succeeded in doing so with this ten of cups here I feel like this is what's coming to fruition this is what's been in your subconscious what you have been working on to last for infinity, for not just yourself, but for your future generations. Here we see the flowers. I feel like these are tying in together with those flowers there and just that there is an energy speaking of some mirroring going on. This is a very, very happy card. I'm getting a lot of sunshine and happiness and joy. I'm hearing royalty. And just very, very strong. Strong and very spiritual. Deeply spiritual. And just watching the abundance continue to grow like it's becoming to where it's just, it's coming out of all places. What you are beginning to manifest, which is very beautiful. This is a major arcana. 
definitely speaking of seeing manifestations. And then I'm noticing the cup too. I just feel like, <laughs> like this Knight of Cups is a magician too, but this is just the, the persona that they give or that they decide that they want to give. But I definitely feel like that Knight of Cups is a magician too. And I just feel like too, that the more that these two energies come into their own, things just begin to appear more clearly. Like there's more clarity, the deeper the spiritual levels go. So the higher that you go, the deeper the spirit, the more intense it becomes and the more it begins to show in physical ways. And there's a lot of mirroring, even though these are two totally different cards. Like this card is all covered in blue, but it still has gold. This card is all covered in gold, but it still has its hints of like the green, which is also from the heart chakra. So there's a lot of love here too. I feel like a lot of love. The energy from the roses, I feel like is what has been like the love, just a very, very passionate love. And this is all combining where it is definitely tying in a connection to where this is being felt by this Knight of Cups. And because of what you are doing, again, this is what you are manifesting is your Ten of Cups. you are doing a great, great job. I feel like too, that you may be using like flowers, surrounding yourself with flowers. The swords I'm noticing too, very intellectual and you enjoy it. Almost a little bit guarded, but I feel there's an even balance there just with the way everything is set up and how that card looks. I'm hearing, I love it when you call me Big Papa. <laughs> um, let's see. Also, too, before I move on, this is another one we have. I consider this to be an ace as well. Um, just because it's a one. So I, I feel like we have very, very strong energy. Speaking here of some great manifestations of definite new beginnings. So that's awesome. All right. So the fifth card that we have is the King of Wands. King of Wands is a very strong leader. The King of Wands is facing towards the past. So there is definitely some energy there where there is some reflection. And I'm getting this King of Wands is seeing this magician, possibly someone you may have been connected to in the past who has developed. And now that they're in this particular place, this is where they are reflecting back on you. I feel like because of the strong energy that you have, that you're like magnetizing a lot to you, a lot of energies to you. We are in Mercury retrograde and this reading is timeless, <clears throat> but the the current energy, excuse me, is uh, being in Mercury retrograde where there's always a tendency for, where it's kind of things kind of just slow down for us to be able to reflect on past achievements, accomplishments, 
things that may have not worked out so well, why they may have just a real good time of reflection and deliberating on things to see how we can improve moving forward. And so I feel like this King of Wands is doing that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm having little tickles in my throat. I feel like this King of Wands may have something very, very significant and important that they would like to say to you. This King of Wands is very established, very loving, very, I'm getting a very royal feeling. This could be, and this, depending on the energy and how you are getting this, because this is Leo energy as well. Or actually, I, just, I should say fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. And given that we are doing your reading, this possibly... No, I'm not going to say that because, yeah, no. I feel like because the, the initial energy I was getting is that you're in between two different energies here. And so... I feel like this definitely is someone, just like I was saying, who is reflecting back on you. They've become quite established. It could be possible that they have the energy of wanting to have this new beginning with you. With this card being under the Ace of Pentacles. King of Wands is all about... Well, with the wands energy, it deals with home and structure and community. And so this king deems those types of things related very, very important. Structure being very, very important. Strong foundation being very important. How they are seen in the community as very important. And they take revel in it. And they have a lot to show for it. I feel like even though this is the King of Wands, there may just be a little bit of stagnancy with their movement sometimes. Just seeing the concrete here where there may be a little bit of dryness, coldness at times, hesitation, like with cement just kind of a standstill at times. And it's possible that Guarantee with the fire energy there, it begins to dissolve eventually where it's no problem. But yeah, I definitely feel like this is you. This is your energy and you are in between these different energies here. And again, this is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And we have the water sign of Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. And I'm getting like a lot of Gemini energy with this. So you may have strong Gemini energy in your chart. Okay. So the next card, our last card we have is the seven of pentacles so this is good because it, it presents to me with being the last card like a really good balance having good balance being on the right path and working towards something working towards that ten of pentacles now that we have been getting this ten of cups established I feel like there's a lot of independency energy here and a lot of solidarity and that could contribute to the magnetism that you have and why things and people are beginning to show up for you, possibly return. Seven of Pentacles is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I feel like this is work that you have been doing along with your spirit team, for sure. Like, even though it's earth energy, I feel like it's also like either ancestors or angels is what I'm getting. 
and I'm getting cabbage patch too for some reason so that may be significant just looking at those leaves and how they're spread out that just popped into my head so that may be significant for some of you maybe some of you are working on something that has to do with dolls and you really, really like dolls. You collect dolls. I used to collect, oh my goodness, I love dolls. I love all kinds of dolls. Cabbage Patches, Barbies. So yeah, I'm, that's, that's what I was seeing there for that quick moment there. Or this could be too, um, since we say Cabbage Patch, this could be a garden that someone is working on as well. Or just overall, you know, whatever you are doing as far as your career, or if you have something that you really enjoy doing that you don't consider to be a part of your career. And there seems to be a little bit of discouragement here, but I would just say, don't get discouraged, continue to work and trust in the messages that you are receiving of reassurance and always trust your intuition because that's going to tell you the first and initial thing and the best thing that is for you and not anything outside of you always listen to you first i feel like you are a very 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 creative person who has built up a lot of great ideas and you have a lot of great things that you would like to say and you're just trying to figure out a way i feel like there's some reflection here too most definitely as you just kind of look on all the things that you have built up and i feel like you're trying to figure out your way moving forward, the best way for you moving forward. I feel like too, with this Knight of Cups being above here, that this could possibly be this energy of that Knight of Cups or that this is a collaborative effort here where the Knight of Cups energy and you are working together to be able to move forward because this is the last card here. So this is a good, like I said, and I, I think that's so cool that, because I just knew, like, I feel like this is the overall card. Like, in my past readings, normally the six card is kind of, like, definitely, like, the finale. I haven't had one reading. This is the first reading where it's kind of, like, boom, in your face <laughs> with, the, with the Ten of Cups, which is super. So it's, like, you know, enjoy that. And... Congratulations, and um, yeah, that's that's really great. Also, too, with the Purple Hills, I feel like some of this work, too, has been with your chakras. Like sometimes, most times when I see purple, it, it reminds me of third eye crown chakra energy and so I feel like you may have been possibly doing some work with that as well but yep this is the Leo moon reading this was a very beautiful reading I hope that these messages were very helpful for you I wish you well I wish you all the best really really do enjoy everything that you have and everything that is to come because you have major, major success. Peace and love. Take care.